Now we can start with the more exciting parts and we will start to look into how pods actually work. Uh, because we now have everything installed and we have set up our user uh, two different categories of users uh, with customers and creators. But we have new pods yet. So let's start with the fun part and let's create the product pods. So the first time you click on pods, as we have nothing here, we need to create a new pod. And you have some kind of one click quick actions if you really would like to use that one. But at the moment, I would like to create a new pod here. And the first thing you need to do is that you need to set up a pods, um, say, because you're creating a new post type. And in WordPress, you need to set up a singular name and a plural name. So let's call this uh, product. And the plural label is then products. Uh, and let's see if we can spell also products like this. So next step. Now, before here we start to set up the fields, but I would actually like to go through a few of these tabs before that one. On the labels, you can set up specific labels for kind of everything. You see what it will be at the moment. Uh, and I will leave it at, uh, as it is for the, for the moment. Under admin UI, you can actually say that uh, this one, show admin UI as it is selected. It means that products as you uh, see are already shown up here in the left menu. Um, and we can do an all products or we can already add new products. Um, if I deselect that one and then save the pod, um, we can try to do that at the moment. Um, and then if we now go back and uh, reload something here. So we get a new page so it's really is now you see that well now we have no products here but we want to have that one there so let's edit this one again <clears throat> and go under admin ui and we show it in the admin ui so um save again and now go to the connections here you can set up if you use some kind of categories or tags or both for the products. So you can say that, oh, it should use the same categories as the post. Um, but you can also, if you had created your own categories that we will do later on, then you can link that here. Under advanced options, we have a lot of different options, but what I would like to go for now is that I would like to scroll down to this part where it says supports. Because these are the things that kind of have um, that you can kind of include from the normal post type. And as you see, we have a lot of different stuff here. Title uh, should probably be there, um, but maybe you don't want the editor. This is the normal block editor if you are using that one. Um, if you would like to have an author field, well, then you can select that one and featured image and so on and so forth. But I will. For this one, I will just keep the title and I will leave the rest to my fields that I add later on. So let's uh, keep it like that. And uh, then under uh, auto template options, there you can set up templates and we will come back to that. So I leave that also. And the rest API is that should you be able to kind of connect to your site via the REST API that is built into every WordPress site. Uh, but I'll leave that also for the moment. So let's go back to fields and do the fun parts. Uh, from the beginning, you see you have one group that is called more fields. If you would like to change that, you can click edit and then you can change the more fields to uh, product uh, data, whatever. And then maybe you should change that one also. Product underscore data. This should be uh, what's called a slug, so it should be lowercase and no spaces. So I use underscore instead. That's the normal WordPress behavior. So let's save this group. Now it says product data. And we can, no, not edit. Uh, let's uh, manage the fields instead and let's add some fields here. We already have the title field. We need to remember that because that is part of the post. So we don't need to add a title for this product. But let's add some uh, product info like this and not product cut uh, product info and let's use a uh, plain paragraph text and now as i change the type for this field this 
uh, entry in the menu changes. Because if I select plain text, you see that now it says plain text option, but I wanted to have a plain paragraph text. Uh, now, if I click on this one, I have some specific options that are available for these paragraphs. Um, and for me, I would like to set the maximum length to 500 characters. And that is the only thing I would like to do. And I leave the rest as it is. So let's add a couple of more fields. Let's have uh, um, whatever. We can have a uh, uh, weight. And I'm spelling like crazy today. Uh, weight field. Um, that should, of course, then be a plain number. Um, so let's save that one. We leave it as this. And let's add another field. And of course, every product needs a price. Uh, and that should also be a number, but we should use a currency instead. Now we have some currency options. And as I am in Sweden, I would use uh, Swedish Krona. Uh, and that should be after with space. Um, we have two decimals, yes, and maximum digits is 12. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Uh, so I'll leave it at the moment as it is now. Then what we also would like to have is that we would probably would like to be able to upload images for this product. So let's add a field here that we just called images like this. Uh, and now we select file image video for this one. And now under these uh, options, we could actually say that you should be able to upload more than one file. And what I would like to do now is that I don't want the normal user to get into the full media repository. So I would say that they should be able to upload only. So I select that one. Um, and then you can select if you would like to have a specific directory. I'll leave that. Uh, if you want, you can then set up a custom directory. And then you can say that, yeah, all products can go into VP content uh, products or whatever. Um, but I'll leave the rest as it is, except for this one, uh, because I would like to set the maximum uh, number of files to four. Um, it is by default set to images. If you would like to have other file types, you can sele select that one here. But I'll leave it like this, and you can also select a little bit about the list styles, but you can fiddle with those. Now, we can come back later if we realize, oh, we need more fields for the product. So I will actually save this pod. And now, as I have saved that with these fields, if I now, um, uh, well, now I need to reload something here, so I get products back here. But if I go to add new, you see that now I have a title, and I have a product info, and I have a weight, and I have the price, and I can upload images. But this is the admin area. What if I want the users to be able to create new products, but without going to this page. Well, let's create a new page for this. 